Hello, welcome to episode 478 of Oatmeal Breakfast Plays a Video Game. On this episode I play Squash on Internet Archive Arcade. It's a video game from 1992, and I had a blast playing it. I had heard of the game Squash from an episode of Frasier. Frasier and his brother Niles are in Frasier's living room, and the mention Squash. Back then when I watched that show I was not on the internet so I could not go and look up to see what Squash was. Before today I had no idea how Squash was played, or seen it played. I had no clue about Squash. I found this Squash game on Internet Archive Arcade while I was looking for a video game to play on this episode. I thought I would give Squash a try. So I played it. Then I watched a video about the rules of Squash. And in the video it said you want to try and stay in the center T of the court. So that is what I tried while playing this game. When I was practicing before I recorded the video I did not do that well. Me and my computer opponent pretty much tied, and there would be a countdown from 9 in the game to continue. I don't know if I am explaining that right. I did not play very well. Then I recorded myself playing squash, and I beat the computer, and I had a blast. For me playing squash was easier than playing tennis. In a tennis video game I always have trouble getting to the ball to hit it, not in squash. I made contact with the ball regularly. And I dominated the computer enough that I got to play to 9 points and win the game. I could have played another game but I did not want to make this video too long. So I stopped recording. Today I learned something new. Yes, I don't know if I ever want to play squash in real life. Or go to a squash match. I think it's cool that squash is played in a room with a door. Very cool. Have I said cool enough? I think the graphics of this game are okay. I like that when the player gets off balance after they hit the ball they fall to the floor and stars swirl around their head, and the player is stunned for a second, and I also like the celebration after a player wins a point. Neat. What else can I say about Squash? I am glad I tried it. So give Squash a try. You might like it. The name of the game Squash always makes me think of the vegetable Squash I like the zucchini will give me a lot of fruit, but I did not like zucchini that much. My favorite way to eat zucchini was in zucchini bread. I remember we grew acorn squash and spaghetti squash. I don't remember what I thought about their taste. I think we might have grown butternut squash. And we did grow pumpkins. One of pumpkin types I thought would be fun to grow would be a giant pumpkin. I don't know that I would want to give it enough water or manure to get it to 900 pounds. It would be fun to get a truckload of manure and dump it around the squash plant. Bigger is better right? I remember one time I roasted pumpkin seeds in the oven and ate them. I also made pumpkin pie with the pumpkin we grew. I remember I even carved a pumpkin that we grew. I don't know if we grew pumpkins every year or if it was on one year, or if we grew more than one type of pumpkin. I hope one day I grow pumpkins again. What else can I say about squash? I do remember wanting to try a type of zucchini that was round. I don't think I did ever grow it. Thinking about the game squash make me hungry maybe I need to eat a plate of squash while playing the video game squash. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. Candy and carving pumpkins and dressing up. What holiday could be better? I have got to think of more to write. Two minutes plus to go in this video. What else do I want to talk about? I watched an RC Kicks video about Gavin's RC car collection. He has over 75 RC cars. I only had about 5 that I, that I can remember. Would I rather have garage full of RC cars or full size cars? I will go with the RC cars. I think a garage full of RC cars would be cheaper to take care of. One of the cars in his collection I thought was interesting is the Elk Racing in one. I don't think I had seen it before I watched the video. It looks like a WPL buggy. And another car in his collection I liked is ZD Racing Rocket DBX10. It looked great. If I ever had a lot of RC cars I don't know if I would want any shelf queens. Maybe all my RC cars would end up being shelf queens. I would not want to drive them and scratch them up because someday they would be antiques and worth a good amount of money. Before watching YouTube channels about RC cars I never knew there were so many brands and models of RC cars. What else do I want to talk about? I want to be better at math. Thinking about what genre of math I want to be good at I want to be better at number theory. Since I can't be good or know a lot about all math. I am better at math than I used to but, I have a long way to go, and there is a long way I want to go. Oh, that reminds me I changed the name of my YouTube channel. I did not know I could change its name until I watched a YouTube creator video and saw that I could. I changed it to Oatmeal Breakfast Sporing. Not the greatest name I know. I want to think of a better name. 
and I want to change my profile picture. I want to think of a name that would tell people my channel has video games and music. Maybe I need to change my name for oatmeal breakfast to another name. I don't know. My YouTube channel is not as popular as I would hope it would be. But, at least I tried. And I found out I do enjoy recording myself playing video games and putting the videos on YouTube. And I do like making my own music. So that is something, I think. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. Have an amazing day. Have a great day, bye-bye.